This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one, the only ape father in the house, baby. Wow! Okay. You know, look, I know you guys hate it when I talk about Lou, but Lou strikes again, you know? <laughs> He's, he just makes a video before, something like AMC, we're all good. I don't know. I was just watching it. This is where he was Frosty the Stone Man. He was with the ducks and all that stuff, okay, in the park. He said that a hedge fund told him the squeeze is coming. Man, am I the only one who's getting sick of this? Is it just me? I really think it's just me. I think everybody else is okay with it. It's it's really just getting to a point now where it is so ridiculous. The friggin' outrageous comments that this guy keeps saying. It's like he just doesn't stop. He does this. He just keeps coming and coming and coming. The next thing this guy's going to tell you is Superman flew down from Krypton and he gave him uh, financial advice and he's going to share it with you. I mean, the guy doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. Ready? Uh, what was what was the, la the last outrageous comment? He said he turned down an enormous amount of money, more money. This was his exact words. More money than he would make on the squeeze to not um, give up retail. In other words, there was a bank that was willing to pay Lou an enormous amount of money. He went, he wanted retail investors gift wrapped from Lou and to, you know, to sell us out and to give them to this corrupt bank. And then he would make this like an, an, an enormous, gigantic amount of money. He turned it down. Okay. Now when this newest video, he says he has a direct contact with a hedge fund that's telling him the squeeze is coming. Lou, what's the name of the hedge fund that gave you this information? Who is the contact at the hedge fund that told you this? Who's the bank that offered you this enor enormous amount of money to sell out retail? Who's the contact at the bank? How long are you going to let this go on for with this, this friggin' buffoon? How long, are you, you know, when is it ever going to come to an end? Like, 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 seriously, at this point, what, what's the next thing he's going to say? Listen, he's, I sat down with Donald Trump and listen, you know, he told me that, you know, he spoke with Ken Griffin. He hates Ken Griffin, but listen, he's giving me some inside information. When is it going to come to an end with this bullshit that this guy keeps saying? Now, I keep getting all these apes telling me, look, I can't confirm this. OK, so I just want, want you to know. I, I, the last video I watched with Lou, he was in the park with the ducks. There was a lady feeding a hundred ducks, you know, looked like Lou was hungry and he was going to run over there. That was the last video I watched with Lou. They're saying now that he's telling apes to consider to sell at 73. Now, listen, this is alleged. Okay. I can't confirm it. I honestly did not hear Lou say that, but if he did say that, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, you would have to be the dumbest person in the world. With all of the torture that we've been through, with all of the pain that we've been through, with all of the corruption that we've been through, you would consider to sell at 73? I don't even have any words for it. I really just don't. I mean, even selling at 500 is a disgrace or 800 is, is like 73. Let's try to relax here. Having a little bit of a tough day here between all these lunatics that are, you know, trying to like uh, get me angry. They're they're uh, my poor son, eleven years old. They're they they're they're, they're, they're they're sharing his videos all over YouTube, trying to make a mockery out of him and me and my family. I mean, I'm really pissed off today, man. And now I got to deal with this with Lou. With, 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 listen, I don't know about the whole thing. If Lou is telling you to sell at 73, you tell Lou, you know, you know the famous thing he says to go F his, uh, you know what? You know, the mother, okay? <laughs> go F your mother. That's what Lou says, okay? My kids are asleep. They're not hearing any cursing, if anyone's wondering, okay? That's what you tell back to Lou if he's telling you to sell at 73. Now, I can't confirm that because I didn't hear it, but I this is what I can confirm. Lou said that he spoke to a hedge fund Here's what I can confirm. And the hedge fund says that the squeeze is coming. Listen, you guys got to start getting on Lou's ass. You have to stop it. You should all be ashamed of yourself that you continuously let this buffoon lie to you. I mean, can I do it too? Is it okay? Listen, can I? Because I, if it's okay with you, 
I'm going to start doing it. If it's okay with you, like tomorrow, I'm going to tell you, I sat down with Ken Griffin, you know, uh, we worked out a deal, <laughs> he's going to cover, and you know, uh, he's. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn down a large amount of money from him. I mean, I'm going to start doing this shit. If you don't get on Lou's ass, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to start doing it. Lou has to stop making these outrageous claims. He has to stop it. You have to tell us who they are. Who's the corrupt bank, Lou, that you turned down this enormous amount of money? Who's the, the contact at the bank? Now, who's this? He just said a hedge fund spoke to him today. He's out playing with ducks in the snow on the sled. He, you know, Frosty the Snowman. What hedge fund? Did they meet you with the ducks, Lou? Did they meet you? Maybe it was the lady. You know that lady who was feeding all the ducks? She was the hedge fund lady. The one that was feeding all the ducks, she went to Lou. She said, Lou, listen, listen, listen. the Moaz is coming. Lou, now, if you could excuse me, I got to go feed the ducks, sir. <laughs> Don't you all find this to be ridiculous? Seriously, I know you guys love Lou. You love him, but don't you find it ridiculous that he just keeps making these insane claims? I even heard one time he said that he knows Melania Trump, like they're very good friends. I mean, the guy makes the most insane, ludicrous claims that I've ever heard in my life. And I actually think that the Lou fans believe him. I do. Lou, what is the name of the hedge fund that approached you today and said that the AMC is about to squeeze? Who's the contact at the hedge fund? Get on his ass.